What was I thinking? <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, together, we are manifesting spring. I'm talking blossom, I'm talking pastels because I need some sunshine. If you've been following this channel for a while, then you may have seen my Curvy Girl Tries series, which is where I test brands that are new to me and see if they suit my curvy figure and are size inclusive. One of the brands I tried out last summer was Monkey and I was instantly converted to their style and they quickly became one of my favorite places to shop. Recently, I've been stalked by this lilac pair of jeans. I'd seen Abby, mid-sized gal, wearing them and she made them look fire and I stalked them on the website a few times which meant that everywhere I went on the internet, there was another Monkey ad. Clearly, the marketing worked because uh, here we are. Today's haul doesn't have much of a theme, except it's all very spring suitable. There's a lot of pastels, a lot of purple, even some green, which is quite out of character for me. And we'll just have to see how this goes. I'm going to be trying everything on for you. But if you want to see how I style these pieces day to day, then the best place to go is my Instagram, where I'm sure I will be wearing most of them a lot in the coming weeks. Unsurprisingly, the first piece to end up in my basket were the jeans that had been stalking me all over the internet. They are the Yoko jeans in purple, but I definitely think they are more of a lilac shade and they are Monkey's wide leg style. I love a good wide leg pair of jeans. I have a pink pair from ASOS, which I wear all the time. I didn't know pink jeans could be such a wardrobe staple. So when I saw these, I knew they had to be mine and they were 40 pounds. So the jeans are on and they are a success. I am completely converted. They're a bit snug on the waist. There was a little bit of a, the squeeze that went on, but to be totally honest, I had a takeaway last night and I am bloated. So I think normally these would be completely fine. Right now, I think if I was to sit down in them, they'd be a tiny bit snug. They are definitely wide-legged as advertised. And overall, I think they're a really, really pretty color for spring. I've never actually had monkey jeans before. In fact, I don't think I've ever had monkey trousers, but the denim feels really good quality. I was a bit worried that they wouldn't feel worth 40 pounds, but they definitely do. Big thumbs up, monkey. You nailed these ones. The next two items are a good example of where marketing imagery just gets me good. When I went to buy the jeans, they had a model wearing a full outfit that was not very me, but I just, I vibed with it. You know, it was very 70s. I cut myself some curtain bangs recently in a spur of the moment lockdown crisis. And I saw this shirt, which is not my style and thought I had to give it a go. I'll be honest, not sure if I'm gonna be keeping this, don't know if I can pull it off, but I low key love it. It's described by Monkey as a puff sleeve blouse in a green floral print and it cost me 20 pounds. I think it's fair to say that the blouse on its own would probably be a bit much. I'm not sure I can really pull off that whole grandma curtain chic. So in the pictures, the model was wearing it with a green sweater vest. I have not tried the sweater vest trend yet. There are two in this haul, so maybe there will be one in my collection by the end of the day. The knitted vest was 25 pounds, and again, I got it in an extra large. The green sweater vest, floral shirt, jeans combo had me sold. This is how it looked on the model. Will it look like that on me? Probably not, but that's why I do these things. <laughs> okay, I think it's fair to say this is the greenest outfit I've ever had on, at least from when I began to choose my clothes myself. The shirt is a lot, and I don't think I'd wear it on my own without the vest, but with the vest, I kind of feel like I look like a 70s extra. Maybe it's the fringe, maybe it's the floral, I don't know, is it all a little bit grandma's curtains? To be fair, I don't even think my grandma would have curtains that look like this. I'd love to know what you think. Do we think it's a win? Do we not think it's a win? I just can't ever see myself wearing these two separately and so therefore I'm really not convinced 
that they're worth it, but I do think this is really cool. Like, I feel like this is how I'd like to dress. I just don't know if I'm quite confident enough to lean in to the decades vibe that this outfit is giving me. Maybe I've just watched a little bit too much WandaVision. In terms of fit and quality though, these fit really nicely. I am mega sold on the sweater vest. It's really, really soft, really snuggly, but I'm not gonna get sweaty armpits. A dream. Why did I never try these earlier? Also going quickly and briefly back to just the shirt. This fits quite well. It's a bit tight on my chest, which I always find with shirts, to be honest. They don't really take into account the fact that us ladies have varying sizes of melons. But there we go. So we've got a bit of gaping going on, but nothing horrendous. This is not bad as far as shirts go on me. I've always been a fan of a good decorative collar. This jump has one and frills on the sleeves. It's something that I would definitely say is part of my style. But recently the collars have been getting bigger, bolder, and I wanted to try it out. So when I saw this big collar blouse on Monkey for 30 pounds, I thought it was definitely worth a go. I sometimes have problems with shirts I think a lot of curvy ladies do where they gape in my chest area. So I'll be interested to see if this one does this. Although if I'm completely honest, I think the chances are I'd only ever wear it with a sweater vest or a jumper. So maybe that won't be a problem, but I feel like for 30 pounds, it's got to fit right. To go with my blouse of dreams, I also picked up the same knit vest that I tried on earlier, but in lilac. You'll notice there's a little bit of a lilac theme. I barely have any lilac in my wardrobe at the moment, but as you will see later on in this video, that's no longer the case. Again, like the green one, this vest was 25 pounds and I got it in an extra large. Firstly, the shirt. I don't know what magic this is. This doesn't gape at all. Why don't other companies do this? Why don't other companies leave room for boobs? To be honest, I don't think I would wear this shirt as is that often we've got a puff sleeve, we've got some cute frills on the cuffs, and obviously we've got this incredibly over the top collar, which I think speaks for itself. Where I think shirts like this shine are with a jumper on top, or in this case, a sweater vest. I love it, I'm obsessed. I'll be honest, I've seen kind of like some Instagram baddies and fashion people wearing sweater vests for a while, and I just didn't see the point, but I am converted. You're like snug, but your armpits are free. It's a really, really great idea. I think for me, this is the perfect way of making this style feel girly enough and kind of whimsical enough that it doesn't feel too far outside of my comfort zone. And I think the shirt is definitely a lot more wearable paired like this. I think if I could change one thing for the purposes of wearing it with the sweater vest, I'm not sure if I really need the baggy sleeves. I think it would be just as cute if these were maybe a little more fitted, but I do think I'll love wearing this with all of my other collection of jumpers too. And it'll be a really good way of giving all of those jumpers like a refresh with a big collar without needing to buy a load of new stuff, which is awesome. I am definitely gonna be keeping both of these and think I will be getting a lot of wear out of them. What do you think? Let me know. So I'd picked up what I'd come onto the site for and like every good shopping haul in lockdown, I decided I needed some comfy basics. I love crop tops and as I've continued in my body confidence journey, they're something that I really enjoy wearing, but lots of mine are very flouncy, kind of jeans and a nice top vibes, and I didn't really have any basic ones. So I picked up two from Monkey to try their different styles. The first one is described as a cropped fitted t-shirt. I chose one in gray and it retails for eight pounds, which I thought was really good for a basic considering that all of Monkey's cotton is sustainably sourced. I then went for their basic cropped tee in white for six pounds. Bargain prices for sustainable cotton, am I right? Monkey just do cotton really, really well. Their stuff is just so soft, especially for the price. Now I'll be honest, not feeling my best today, as I said, pretty bloated and so this isn't the kind of thing I would choose to wear when I'm bloated and feeling like this. It's a tight crop top but hey ho, 
we're doing it for the internet. However, I'm definitely gonna be keeping this because it's really soft, really comfy, and on a non-blow today, I can tell I'll get a lot of wear out of it, especially for, I think it was eight pounds. Bargain. It's cropped, but not too cropped. Even over kind of a larger chest, you're definitely still getting good coverage. I sometimes find crop tops on me can stop here. That's not doing anything for anyone. But this is definitely a great basic to have in your wardrobe. I have to admit, I'm a little bit more disappointed in this one. It still feels really nice, but on me, this isn't a hugely cropped length. I mean, it's not as long as an ordinary t-shirt, but these are jeans that just sat on my waist, and I guess it's a little bit cropped. I think I'd probably prefer it if it was just a little bit shorter. And as it's a plain white tee, I feel like if it's not cropped, that it's not really hitting what I bought it for. Then again, it is really cozy. And maybe if Gen Z wins their quest to bring low rise jeans back, this would feel really, really cropped. Honestly though, for six pounds, I don't think you can go wrong. This is really, really soft. And even if all I did was wear it when lounging around the house or in bed with a pair of leggings, that kind of thing, I think it would still feel really worth it for me. If you can't tell already, I'm a big fan of Cotton and Mo uh, Monkey. I think it is their pièce de résistance. The other thing I have been living for in lockdown is comfy underwear. I am over underwired everything. I want to be comfy. I had no idea that Monkey did underwear, but I checked out the section when I was on the site this time and picked up this matching set in blue. I think the website technically described this color as lilac, but it looked blue on the website and it looked blue when it arrived. The ribbed soft bra was 15 pounds and the ribbed high-waisted briefs were eight. They looked really high-waisted, which is something I really enjoy, I just wanna feel held in and secure, but still be in something adequately stretchy. Does that make sense? I am totally in love with this underwear. It is so comfy, it is so soft, and I already want to go back on the website and buy it in every color. If only it was a little bit more affordable, and I might actually do that, but for now I think I'm just gonna have to live my life in this set as often as possible. The bra is great, it's got nice, thick straps. The only thing to note is obviously it's crop top, it's not lined, hence why I'm wearing it with this monkey cardigan, which I bought back in the autumn, because we've got a little bit of nipple going on and I feel like that might be a tiny bit too much for the internet. The pants, really comfy, ultra high-waisted, super, super stretchy. So if like me, you suffer with bloating, these would be really great. Huge thumbs up, I am really, really sold on monkey underwear. It wouldn't be much of a spring haul for me without some kind of spring dress. Now I have no idea when I might get the chance to wear this if we're still stuck at home, but one of my favorite summer dresses is lilac. So when I saw this one, I thought maybe this could be a perfect addition to my collection. It's a shared v-neck dress. It looked beautiful on the website. It retails for 35 pounds, but I do have one reservation, which is it appears to have buttons at the front and I don't know if they're faux buttons or real. If they're real, I'm worried we're gonna get gaping, but we'll just have to see how it fits, I suppose. In order to go with the whole ensemble, I picked up this little lilac scrunchy bow ribbon thing. It was three quid. I thought it looked super cute and I'm a 90s baby. You just try and take my scrunchies from me. This haul was going so well, and I was so ready to say monkey's fit never, ever, ever lets me down. And then it did. So I don't like this dress. I think it's pretty. There are just a few places where it really doesn't fit my body quite right. The sleeves, I really like the way the gathering looks. They're a little bit long, and so the gathering's hitting my elbows at a weird place. I would kind of prefer if they committed to being longer than the elbow or shorter than the elbow, which maybe they would if you had longer arms than I do. The main problem for me is just the length of the torso. This shirring panel should really sit under your boobs, and as you can see on me, it sits about two thirds of the way down them. Big chested lady problems. I mean, if I try and pull it down, it kind of works, but then I'm stretching the fabric, you can see my bra, everything's falling apart. I think if you had a smaller chest, or maybe you're a bit shorter than me, 
this could be a win. I don't think I have a particularly long torso. The dimensions of this cut just aren't quite right for me, but cute color, and I do love the little scrunchie. Thumbs up for the scrunchie. Three pounds, we'll be keeping that. The dress, don't think so. I have a really big family, and of course, I miss them a lot right now. I was FaceTiming my little sister, Lily, Shout out to Lily if you're watching. And she could not believe it when I told her I did not own a pair of jogging bottoms. Sweatpants, joggers, whatever you wanna call them. I don't quite know how I've got a year into this whole Rona situation without joggers in my life, but I had. I decided I would pick some up because she said she would basically disown me if I didn't try joggers. I'm still not sure they're really my thing. Like, I'm sure they'll be comfortable. Will I ever wear them out the house? Probably not. I chose a white pair and they were 25 pounds, so they're gonna have to be pretty comfy for me to want to keep them, I think. <laughs> to go with that, I got a long sleeve top. This is described by Monkey as soft. I have found Monkey do not use the word soft lightly. I bought a soft t-shirt dress from them as part of my haul in the summer and I lived in it. The fabric is the softest thing I have ever had on my body. So I am really, really, really hoping this is the same fabric because if it is, this is going to be a winner. I picked one with purple and white stripes because clearly purple is the color of the day and it was 10 pounds, which again, for sustainable cotton, I think is a really, really, really good price. I'd love to shop more sustainably and I try to avoid the kind of ultra fast fashion retailers, but as a curvier girl, it can be really difficult because a lot of affordable but sustainable brands are not size inclusive. Monkey, it's not the most size inclusive. I am wearing the largest size in a lot of these pieces and obviously there are going to be a lot of people bigger than me, plus size people who Monkey doesn't cater for, but on a personal note, selfish I know, it is really nice to be able to make some sustainable choices without breaking the bank. Well, this was a brilliant choice to finish on because I am not taking this off once I've finished filming. These are really comfy. Are they comfier than other joggers? I wouldn't know because I don't have any joggers in my wardrobe, but compared to the atrocities I wore back at high school, these are super comfy, super cozy, fleece lined, pockets and basically lockdown perfection. Why did I not get on this trend 12 months ago? So much regret. Lily, I'm sorry, you were right. <laughs> I don't make a habit of saying that to my sister too often, but there you go. The t-shirt is the super soft cotton that I hoped it would be. So cozy. The super soft range from Monkey really is what it says on the tin. It's a dream. Plus, still affordable and sustainable. You really, really can't go wrong. I don't do horizontal stripes. I was gonna say very often, but I think at all. I don't think I have anything striped in my wardrobe, probably because of those crappy, outdated fashion rules where they were like, horizontal stripes make you look bigger. But I don't care. I think this is a mood. I think this is a comfy loungewear vibe that I can't get enough of. Still don't think I'm gonna be wearing these out the house, totally honest, but that doesn't matter because I don't leave the house anymore anyway. So that is it for our monkey haul. I actually think that was a pretty huge success. The biggest problem is going to be deciding what to not keep and if my bank account can handle me keeping almost all of it. If I had to give you a prediction at this stage, I think the three things that are probably going to go back are the purple dress, I just don't think it fitted my chest quite right. And sadly, probably the green vest and shirt combo because as much as I love them, and I do love them, I don't think I'd ever wear them separately. And I just don't know if I'm gonna get enough wear out of them to justify that. But I am definitely gonna keep the pink knit vest because I think I am converted to the knit vest way of life. If you disagree and you love those items on me, let me know in the comments down below. I could definitely still be swayed. I'd love to know which pieces in this haul were your favorite. If you'd like to shop anything that you've seen in this video or what I'm wearing now, all of the links will be down in the description if the items are still available. If there's any brands you'd like to see me try as part of Curvy Girl Tries, then definitely let me know. I'm open to suggestions. If you haven't already subscribed, I'm trying to upload two videos a week during lockdown, which I'm kind of managing. So definitely hit the big red subscribe button and the bell icon so that you don't miss out when I next post. 
I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye. I think I'm now going to go and make hot chocolate, snuggle up on the sofa in my new tracksuit bottoms and definitely take the label out of these because they are staying. Done.